Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Today I want to talk about the rainy season in the Philippines. And the rainy season, people have like this idea that the rainy season takes place all throughout the Philippines. And it really doesn't because there's so many different regions of the Philippines. Some places the rain is spread out more th throughout the year. And other places it's more like you get it all at once and, and that's just the way it is. Now here in my area, the first year I got here, we had like a month solid of rain and we had... We had flooding in Manila. We didn't have flooding in my area. We we're about 423 feet up in the air. Okay, so that, that's my altitudes. And everything just washes away. But I mean, we were getting torrential rain for, for probably a good solid month. It was pretty bad. It was, it, was, it was like almost every day you came out and it was just pouring rain. It was miserable and it was horrible. But that isn't throughout the Philippines. And I highly recommend that you guys that are coming over here and you're looking for a decent place to go to look on some of the um, the maps over here of the climate and, and the, the, the way the weather is and the rainy seasons, you can get maps over here and they'll tell you there's really no prevalent rainy season, season in this area. It's more spread out throughout the year. Those are kind of the places that you really want to look for, but you don't want to go too far south into like Mindanao. I'm not saying Mindanao is terrible or you know, but there are some dangerous sections down there. There are some other islands. The further south you go, the more dangerous it gets. Oh, we're getting like a, um, a cricket or a cicada around here. It's really noisy. I can, it's almost like deafening here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But anyway, I, I just want to put that out there, guys. When you guys are looking to come over here, you know, be looking at, at, at the climate zones that we have over here. Because the one you choose, you know, is going to make a big difference in your life. I'm not saying that my area is terrible. I mean, we have good years and bad years, too. I mean, sometimes, the, like I said, the first rainy season that we were here, I mean, the first year that I was here, the rainy season was horrible. It was horrible. Flooding in Manila, um, all our stuff went away. But then we had like a year afterwards where we almost didn't even really have much of a rainy season. We had very little rain. And I'm hoping this year is going to be the same. But I do see clouds starting to come in. I do notice the humidity. That's usually a sign that the rainy season is upon us now because this this is like the beginning of the rainy season right now here in, in, in our area in Cavite. So I'm waiting to see whether we're going to get a lot of rain or a little bit of rain or if it's going to be like a, a dry, kind of a drier rainy season. And I'm hoping it's going to be the drier rainy season to be honest with you. I mean, and all you guys that live here, you guys know what I'm talking about. You, you know, it can be miserable. I mean, some guys get flooded out. Some people don't. Some people get lucky. And when you guys live over here, you want to make sure that you don't live in a flood zone. And, and you can also get flood zone maps over here too, guys. You can go to the, um, any of these, these bookstores over here, and they sell maps. You can get flood zones. You can get climate maps. You can get this and that, you know, like altitude maps. I highly recommend you guys get those maps because they're really, really cheap. They're like 10 pesos or 15 pesos each or something like that at some of the bookstores around here. And buy all those maps because they're, they're very informative and help you if you, if you want to... Like, I'm like a junkie I, I, when it comes to information, okay? So for me, I like having that information at hand, especially where, where I live here now, and I'm probably going to live here permanently. So for me, I'm like an like a, like a information junkie. So if anybody ever asks me anything, I can, I can just look it up and say, oh, yeah, 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 that's, that's in a good climate zone, or that's in a bad climate zone, or yeah, that's a high altitude, it's not in a flood zone. You know, you can, you can look all that stuff up, and it's just at your fingertips. You can also look it up online, too on Google and stuff like that and find out if you're in a flood zone. All those maps are highly available online and you can just print them out too if you want to do it that way. But the maps I have, are, um, they're coated with some some sort of protectant, you know, and, and they're, they're really, really good and they come in handy because, you know, they don't get wet or anything like that. So I love having those maps available to me. But guys, seriously, think about buying those when you get over here. Go to your local bookstore. And those will help you if you guys want to find a good, safe area. It'll, it'll, you know, help you out. Also, guys, look for dangerous areas as far as crime. You can get crime maps probably out there, too. I haven't seen those yet, but I know that they have them out there somewhere. And you can get those, too. But, you know, just, you know, FYI, guys, it's just good information to have when you're coming over here. Or even for you guys, you know, that are already in country and, and you want to know that stuff. Just go to your local bookstore. They usually have a rack, a whole rack of maps, and they also have a, a, a map that will tell you like all the goods and where they're made in the Philippines. That's also good to know too, because maybe you you use a lot of those goods or something like that, and you might want to move to that area just because you use a lot of those goods. 
and they're cheaper in that area or that maybe the foods in that area maybe you know maybe there's more poultry supplies in the area and that will bring prices down for you if you eat a lot of poultry or you eat a lot eat a lot of pork or something maybe they raise pork in that area and you can get pork cheaper that all makes a difference guys for living over here it really really does because the closer you live to these places they don't have to ship it out and pay all the extra money for the shipping so you get a break from that i just bought some pineapples the other day i bought five pineapples big pineapples for about 200 pesos and that's actually a good deal and the lady was willing to sell me more. She said, if you can sell some more, I'll sell you more. I'll sell you four for um, 100 pesos. And I was thinking about it. And I, you know, I was thinking about doing it, but I said, you know, I don't need, I don't, I don't need money to, to, you know, to subsidize my income already. I, I get enough income already. But you know, I could have bought more if I wanted to and, and just sold it off or whatever. But she was offering me four for, for 100. I think she wanted to get rid of them really quick or whatever. But they were, they were decent pineapples. And you know, you can. You, when you see bargains like that, really jump jump in and buy them because you won't see them that often. You know, like I tell people, when you see a bargain, jump on it because later on that bargain will be gone and you won't be able to find that bargain and then you'll be kicking yourself. You know, in the Philippines, it's kind of like that. It's very rare that these bargains come along. When they do, grab them. You know, it's just the way it is in the Philippines. But, I mean, it's, it, you know, just just remember what I said, guys. Get the maps and, you know, you'll be fine. You know, it's just it's just good to know. And when you see bargains, shop. You know, shop right then and there. Get the bargain, just like me. When it comes to the pine, when it comes to pineapples or anything else that you see, uh, mangoes, uh, papaya, stuff like that. When you see a bargain come along, grab them. Okay, guys. God bless. Take care, guys.